It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for Wednesday, the 18th of December. I'm Michael Graff. A breezy and chilly start to the day, although not quite as cold as yesterday. Temperatures will remain below average through tomorrow. Then a warming trend comes in for the weekend. And then just in time for Christmas, we have a major Pacific weather system, which takes aim on the southwest, bringing in increasing chances of showers, mountain snows and colder temperatures. Still a lot of uncertainty with this feature, though. So we'll get into it first. The Almanac from yesterday, 62 degrees was the high in the valley 38 the morning low the normals 65 and 44 were just over two and a quarter inches behind on rainfall for the year outside now here at the ridiculously early hour of 4 40 a.m we've got clear skies out there it's breezy currently 51 degrees at sky harbor dew points at 11 so it's bone dry relative humidity 20 percent wind from the east northeast at 18 and the barometer is steady temperatures out there this morning a couple of cool spots fort mcdowell up on Thompson Peak and South Mountain, they're in the 30s, but thanks to the breezes, most of us held in the upper 40s and 50s across the area. But that's not true everywhere. Check out these temperatures in northern and northeast Arizona. Window Rock, 9 degrees at 17 at Flagstaff, 16 at Winslow. So it's quite cool in some areas. The upper air look, we've got a ridge that's sliding across the area, but here comes another short wave, and that's going to bring some areas of clouds to the state today and tonight and keep temperatures a bit below average through tomorrow. Here's the watch warning maps and winter storm warnings up across parts of the Pacific Northwest. A few lake effect snow issues in upstate New York, as is typical for this time of year. Otherwise, not a whole lot happening. Speaking of, convective outlook for today, no organized severe storms. In fact, hardly any thunder, just a little bit across parts of South Florida. And the precipitation outlook valid through next Wednesday morning from the WPC. Rain amounts in Phoenix around three quarters of an inch. Somewhat heavier totals, of course, for the higher terrain of northern and eastern Arizona. And yeah, there's a lot of uncertainty, but it does look like some unsettled weather is coming our way for next week. And we'll get into the details of that now as we explore the models. Have a look at it. Here's the GFS, the 06Z run valid at 2 o'clock this afternoon. And there comes that short wave. Southwesterly flow out ahead of it. The air mass is bone dry, though. So all we're going to get out of it at, down at the surface today is periods of clouds. Call it partly sunny. Highs this afternoon get into the low and middle 60s. It'll be breezy, too. Winds could gust up to 30 miles per hour at times, especially through the late morning and early afternoon hours. Tonight, clouds in the evening then will clear out. Lows should get down into the upper 30s in the cold spots, mid-40s in the urban core tomorrow. Mostly sunny and still on the cool side, highs low 60s. But then Friday, we'll start to warm it up. Mostly sunny skies and high temperatures get back into the mid and upper 60s as a ridge briefly builds in across the southwest. Now on Saturday, we have this upper level trough now developing along the west coast. Broad southwesterly flow out ahead of it going to tap into some moisture. We'll stay dry, but clouds on the increase, some warm air advection out ahead of this feature too. So highs get into the low 70s for both Saturday and Sunday, but the sky is mostly cloudy. Again, there'll be high clouds, so we'll still see the sun peeking through. Now, as we get to Monday, here's where things start to turn interesting and the model spread grows a bit. We have this trough now beginning to affect the southwest. Deeper moisture plume comes into Arizona. So we're going to introduce a chance of rain in here by Monday afternoon. High temperatures should still be in the mid and upper 60s, pretty close to average. By Monday night and Tuesday, this feature now begins to move to the east. Curiously enough, uh, recent runs of the GFS have taken some of this energy and actually displaced it a little further to the south along the international border and across northern Mexico. So we'll still call for a pretty good bet of rain, maybe some scattered thunderstorms in here too, as some instability and cold air aloft should lend to at least the chance of a little bit of thunder. Mountain snow will be present too. Highs on Christmas Eve likely staying in the upper 50s and low 60s. And then let's go to a week from today. This is Wednesday. It's Christmas Day. Yes, just a week away. And now this, again, this run of the GFS shows this feature sliding on through and kind of just a broad trough over the area. And if this is correct, Christmas Day may actually turn out to be not so bad, just cloudy, maybe a couple of showers around, but not a washout as previous runs had indicated. And then going out 10 days to the end of the forecast period, this is Friday the 27th, and that looks like more of a westerly flow, drier conditions, just some clouds around, and temperatures holding on to near or slightly below average levels. But let me show you the European, same time. Here's Christmas Day, and the Euro shows this low sliding down the west coast, a moist southwesterly flow, and it would be a wet Christmas and a white Christmas up north. And then Friday... The 27th, it still shows rain coming through here as the upper low moves across the state. So it would be 
a wet week and especially the second half of the week coming off the euro so again lots of different model solutions lots of spread uh the idea of unsettled weather still looks likely though for next week just we'll have to wait a few more days probably to get uh timing and intensity of all that all right let's check the temperatures through the period coming off of the gfs ensemble and highs trending upward for friday saturday sunday and then we'll cool it off for next week and again we could have a few days that are cooler than what's shown here this is just the ensemble meme and that's going to do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video comes back here tomorrow morning. If you like our videos, be sure to subscribe, like, share, and click that notification bell so that whenever we post a brand new one, you'll be alerted. Your comments, questions, and suggestions always encouraged as well. Thank you so much for watching. Really do appreciate it. Be safe out there, and you guys have yourselves a fantastic Wednesday.